but we're gonna be i'm gonna start a new series it's gonna be called websec which is another ctf challenge being mostly based off web security challenge but this time mostly based off php based challenges so let's get started so we're gonna be doing baby steps which is level one so let's get started so there's nothing fancy and we're giving a url so with this url we're giving this application is used is used to view usernames by the given user ID. It will return the corresponding username from the database. So it has to be like a database one. So in my mind, SQL injection. And if we press one, it returns your username, which is level one. So anyway, to view what's going on for the most part, let's actually, what's, and these are like, I guess, things I've tried beforehand, but let's try doing some escapes like we usually do and see what happens. And we see SQLite 3. So we have an idea this is using SQLite 3. So what I'll do right away is go SQLite 3 payloads. Uh, SQL payload injections to have something already ready in mind. Like I said before, I've done this challenge already, so I have an idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. Anyway, let's get started. So SQL like three. And oop, we try again. Oop, this is just a weird challenge. Anyway, so I'll just open up this up in a new link and then let's get started. So we could view the source code right here and we say class of one view query new SQL like database.db SQL like open read. And I guess this is where we do the injection. So where ID and then with the injection, then I have limit one. And then it does the query returns users. Nothing too fancy for the most part. But I guess we have to find a way to, first we want to see how the structure of the database is. So what I want to do is firstly extract the, I guess extract the version for the most part. So what I'll do is just mostly, um, so I guess we have to assume it's a number. So I don't know, we could probably do something like one, and then we'll probably do union. <laughs> This has all the payloads I had beforehand, so we'll do union select, and then for the most part, when it comes to union select, you want to match how many things it's selecting. So we have two things get selecting from users, so we're gonna have to select two things. So we'll select, I guess, uh, one like a random variable, and then what we'll do next is just input this SQLite version right here, SQLite version, and then we'll just like close it off, and then I think that's all we should do, and we submit the query. And we see that SQLite version is 3.72, so that's something to keep in mind. So I'll just put that in my notes I term. Oh, and I guess I'll just close this because I don't want no one viewing that. And then uh, open this up, but I'll just make it smaller. And then we'll just go on I term. Oh, not that. And we'll go on that. So I guess I'll put this on my notes, desktop. And then it's just everything that's happening for the most part. Nano uh, uh, notes.txt. So we know that the SQLite version, SQLite 3 is version 3.27.2. So we have to keep that in mind. So anyway, so what else could we do? So we we extracted the version. So we want to extract the schema. So we want to see how it's built. So we'll, I'll just probably replace this from SQLite schema. So we'll just do this to get an understanding how, how because we, we don't know how how they built up the, the SQLite. They, this gives us no hint on like what to use. So what we want to do is, I guess, uh, build up the sequence right here. So we'll do select one. Oh, I guess. This is kind of a hint what's going on because I was doing this beforehand. So we do union select one. And then from here, we'll do, what was the payload again? I guess SQL from SQLite schema. So SQL. And then from, from SQLite underscore schema. Uh, schema and then we can just put like a uh, that at the end so we just submit the query and then we get unable to prepare statement one no such table SQLite schema so I'm guessing this is for a different version so I just copy this and paste it right here in the search and then we go here no such table SQLite schema uh, it's like I am facing a weird issue it runs so it executes it I'm using 3.36 our version is 3.27 so I guess somewhere around the same range look but why so change the SQLite version from SQLite schema to SQLite master so I guess what we have to do is change the SQLite master that's what I got right away so that's what I did next so we'll go right here and just I guess we'll resend this and we just keep on refreshing it resend it oh my god so now we do uh, union select mm, uh, SQL from and then not from that, but we want to be able to do SQLite master. And the only reason this uh, this semicolon works is because it's cutting off this last part. So we're just running this command for the most part.
and then union select is just only running the, our union part which is not running whatever it is right here so we just submit this now we have an understanding how they built the table so they built the table by using create table and we have users so it's grabbing it from the users the table name is users and then we have it seven username and password so in i'm guessing is the id which is being printed out right here username is just whatever the username comes out right here because i guess if we enter one it's going to be a username so i just copy this so like i can show you guys control c go back right here control v and then what i'll do and then we have password which is something interesting which is something we don't see so what i'll do is just press submit query so one and username so we already know that it prints out the id which is the int and then it prints out the username corresponding to the id but what we want to get is the password that's what we want to get we want to see what that gives us so what i'll do is just do a one union select uh id i guess we could do id now and then we could do password from and then what was it what was the name users so now this is going to print out the password for that specific user so users so now if we just do this we get websec simple sqlite injection because we were able to extract the password for that specific user because I, I guess they wasn't supposed to show the, the the i guess originally this was just usually to correspond if you enter the id it'll give you the username they didn't think that the application will spit out the password but we were able to do it on our end we were able to spit out the password so that i guess changes everything so now if we go back right here and we authenticate the flag we should get one point done because we, I guess, solved this challenge, which is pretty good for the most part. So anyway, yeah. So I'll, this is going to be my new series that I'm going to be working on. Pretty cool series. And hopefully you guys enjoy this series that I'm going to be doing. I know I am. This is going to be a pretty cool series that I'm going to be working on. But anyway, yeah. And I'll still be doing the web hacking KR, but like, I, like I'm saying, I just don't have time. I'm currently working on my Mac. But anyway, thank you guys again for this video. And hopefully I get to see you guys again. And now, I guess I'll drop this payload well you guys could probably search this up maybe you guys look it up on yourselves but anyway anyway see you guys again and later peace